All right, so with what I have here, I want to find f of g. I want to find f of g first, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug mx for each part of x, so I get a mx plus b over c mx plus d. So what I end up with is amx plus b over c mx plus d. All right, now next for, the, well, this is part A. I want to find B. B is going to be G of F. G of F is going to be um, where I have M. I'm just going to plug in this whole equation. A of X plus B over CX plus D. The only difference here is the M, which was the coefficient in G of X, is going to be multiplied across the top. So what I'm going to get is M A X which is actually the same thing as uh, AMX. I'm just going to keep my, I'm going to be consistent about my ver my variable uh, order just so I know like terms. All right, so then plus um, MB all over CX uh, plus D. All right, so what's the domain? What's the domain? Uh, all reals, with the exception of, um, you can say it like this, x. x cannot equal negative d over c. And what this means is if you have a negative d over c result, what would happen if, if negative uh, d over c times c? The c's cancel out, so it's just 1. You get negative d plus d, which gives you 0, and that doesn't work. That would give a zero on the denominator. So this is the case here. X cannot equal negative D over C. All right, what condition does F of um, F of G equal G of F? Eh, yikes. Um, so when does AMX plus B over CMX plus D equal a M X plus M B over C X plus D. Well, um, <clears throat> this is a bit tricky. There's a couple ways you can do this, but probably the easiest one is to look at well, what common terms. Um, I would say if M is made to be equal to one, if M, if m equals 1 then f of g equals g of f and here you can see it so if m equals 1 we end up with a at, on the left ax plus b over cx plus d and then over here if m equals 1 for g of f we get ax plus b because the m's one there over cx plus d so M equals 1, then F of G equals G of F. All right, that's it.